Hey guys, it's Carrie. I'm looking at animals in Africa. African elephant? They change habitats easily, inhabiting swampy areas during the dry season, then moving back to lowland rainforest areas in the wet season. They are the largest terrestrial organism, weighing up to 6,100 kilograms and standing four meters at the shoulder. Most elephants live in protected sanctuaries where they have sources of water and abundant vegetation for foraging. An elephant skin is two and a half centimeters thick in most places. The folds and wrinkles in their skin can retain up to 10 times more water than flat skin does which helps them to cool down. They keep their skin clean and protect themselves from sunburn by taking regular dust and mud baths. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Giraffe, it's a rare occurrence to see giraffes fight. Sometimes they have fair and honorable sparring matches with one another without any intent to injure. In a proper fight, an aggressive male will throw punches with the force of their large necks and can stab each other with their Aussie cones. Sometimes males are seen with broken horns or with patches of bare skin on their bottom, their back, all because of fighting. One of the most aggressive battles is when it comes to fighting for a mate. They will fight each other until one runs away or sometimes even gets knocked to the floor. Pelican. There is a large population on the shores of Lake Urima in the Gorongosa National Park, which is in the center of Mozambique. Pelicans live in swamps and shallow lakes. They use their long beak and large throat pouch for catching prey and draining water from the scooped up contents before swallowing. Lion. Lions are well protected in the national parks of Mozambique. Their range is extensive, up to 78% of the terrestrial surface of the country. Generally, lion populations are now increasing. There is an estimated number of 2,700 lions in Mozambique at this stage. There is currently an anti-poaching campaign to protect the lions. Ranger patrols will remove snares, traps and poison which is threatening existing prides. Zebra. In Mozambique, there's a species called Sela zebra that are found in Gorongosa National Park. Their belly is partly striped and they have clean black and white banding. They do not have the brown shadow stripes like the Chapman zebra. Zebras have very different temperaments to horses. They're far more aggressive and a lot more dangerous. Zebras have been known to kick each other to death. They will viciously bite any human that comes too close. Zebras are intelligent, social animals, although they cannot be tamed like a horse or donkey. And there are even many accounts of zebras killing lions. Cheetah. There is good news in Mozambique. Biologists released a group of wild cheetahs in a massive protected area in the Zambezi Delta. It's part of a reintroduction project that's believed to be crucial to conserve the species. The area the cheetahs were released into is sizable and unfenced and could possibly support up to 100 cheetahs in the future. All of the cheetahs seem to be thriving in their new habitat 
and seem to have started fixed movement areas. In Mozambique, the blue wildebeest is found in the Gorongosa National Park. To help restore numbers, South Africa moved a herd of wildebeest to Mozambique. Nyala is a spiral horned antelope native to Southern Africa. It is mainly active in the early morning and the late afternoon. It prefers water holes rather than open spaces. African buffalo is also found in plentiful supply in Mozambique. Rhino. This is a white rhino with the square lip. I'm going to show you my black rhinos which have the hook lip. The next five animals are all endangered. They have two nose horns. The longest known black rhinoceros horn measured nearly one and a half meters. Their horns are used for defense, intimidation and digging up roots and breaking branches during feeding. The black rhino is smaller than the white rhino. It has a pointed and prehensile upper lip which it uses to grasp leaves and twigs when feeding. This is a black rhino with the hooked lip. The black refers to the hooked lip, not its colour. South African penguin. Like all extant penguins, it is flightless with a streamlined body and wings stiffened and flattened into flippers for a marine habitat. It is a pursuit diver and feeds primarily on fish and squid. The wild dog is one of the world's most endangered mammals. They can be found in northern Mozambique. Blue whale, the Mozambique Channel, represents a migratory route for Antarctic blue whales and other whales. Blue whales are critically endangered. Blue whales are the largest animals that have ever lived on our planet and they are found around the globe in all the oceans. Vincent's bush squirrel is endemic to Mozambique. Serval is a solitary carnivore and active both by day and at night. Mongoose. Mongooses, much like goats, have narrow ovular pupils. Most species have a large anal scent gland used for territorial marking and signalling reproductive status. Crocodile. The extremely powerful jaws of the saltwater crocodile are responsible for creating the strongest bite in the animal world. Their strong teeth can be up to 13 centimeters in length. These two characteristics and the animal's ability to hold its breath for long periods of time make it the perfect predator for hunting large land mammals. They lurk along the water's edge and attack in a violent lunge at any potential prey that approaches the water. Hyena. Females are extremely masculinated and the genitalia of females are almost indistinguishable from those of the males. The clitoris is enlarged and looks like a penis and is capable of erection. Females also have a pair of sacs in the genital region which are filled with fibrous tissue. These look much like a scrotum but are covered with more hair than the male scrotum. Thus males and females look extremely similar. The female has no external vagina and must urinate, mate and deliver young 
through the urogenital canal that exits through the pseudopenis. Clans are matrilinear and females are dominant over males. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.